In this video I'd like to talk about using polygroups to unwrap your UVs. You notice in the UV master pulldown that under symmetry we have this option here called polygroups. The demo head doesn't have any polygroups so again I'll jump back in the light box. Let's go ahead and find the demo soldier. Double click on that. And the demo soldier if I turn on the poly frame you can see is made up of several different polygroups. We're not going to worry about all the different pieces of armor, we're just going to worry about his body right now. So just as we did in the first video, the first thing that we're going to want to do with this model is work on a clone. So with the subtool active that I want, and you can see that we currently have the body of the demo soldier selected, none of his additional parts, I'm going to click work on clone. And that's going to move that to its lowest subdivision level that's available on that model. And you can see here clearly the defined regions for the different polygroups. And without doing any control painting as I did in the first video, we'll just simply click the polygroups button and then click unwrap. And again, that's all there is to it. Right now I'm going to click flatten. And you can see that all of these polygroups have been broken up into individual UV islands. In most occasions, this is all you're going to need to do. So I'll click on Flatten. Let's jump down to our texture pull down here in the tool palette. Click New Texture. Grab a slightly larger texture pattern so you can see those UVs are laid out well across the model. I'll turn off Polyframe. And just as we did in the first video, you can now copy and paste these UVs onto the original model. But perhaps you'd still like a little bit more control while working with the polygroups and the unwrap. Well, as I showed in the first video, you can use protective painting even with the polygroups. So let me go ahead and turn off that texture map. And we'll just do a quick flatten again. Take a look at this a little bit better. So we can see right here that the face has been split up. Perhaps I want to protect and suggest where seams should be. So I'll unflatten. We'll go to the head of the demo soldier. And again, just like I did with the demo head, I'm going to click Enable Control Painting. I'll click Protect. That'll let me paint areas in red that I want to protect. So just quick suggestion that I do not want seams in this area. And I'd prefer, by clicking Attract, to have seams in the area back here. Again, each time that you make edits, for instance using Enable Control Painting, you're going to need to click Unwrap again. This time we had Control Painting and Polygroups active, so if I flatten this, you can see that we now have the head as one UV island. I'll unflatten. I'll copy my UVs. Go to the original demo soldier. Again with that subtool active which is his body. We will simply paste our UVs. And then we can take a look with one of the checker maps.